So we were talking earlier about uh, how we both have children who like <laughs> to get out of bed in the middle of the night and come and sleep in the parental bed, which I think actually if you've got one child, I don't mind too much, but it's when you have two and you're in London and your bed isn't very big to begin with <laughs> that it becomes a bit of an issue. Plus because I have an older one who does sleep fairly lightly, even if he's in the grown-up bed with us and the younger brother's in there, the younger brother can wake him up when the younger brother then subsequently wakes up and cries or whatever it is he does. So I tried a method called the sleep fairy method, which I had read about in one of these, you know, teach your child to sleep books, which is a reward method of trying to get your child to stay in bed all night. And um, basically what it involves is saying to him, if you stay in your bed all night, then in the morning when you wake up, you know, the sleep fairy will have come and she will have left you something. So we've, we've tried that and it actually has worked. I mean, I've probably had about, in the last three, well, last two weeks since I started it, I've had probably seven or eight nights when he has, in fact, stayed in his bed <laughs> all night and not come out of bed. And then in the morning when he wakes up, um, I have a stash of things in the cupboard by my bed or in my bedside table, just small things like a matchbox car or a sticker book or some stickers, you know, that sort of thing that they like doing. And I've gone and placed it outside his door of the, his bedroom when he's come out so he's seen that there's yeah. this reward and he thinks it's fantastic. The only time it backfired was one night when he woke up at three o'clock in the morning and the other thing that he's decided he will do off his own back to uh, get the sleep fairy reward is when he wakes up in the morning he'll get out of bed, go and brush his teeth immediately and put all of his school uniform on before coming in to our wow. room and saying, you know, good morning, I'm here, look at me, I'm all dressed in my school uniform. Um, so the only time it backfired was when he woke up at three o'clock in the morning and I saw the light going on in his oh, room yeah. and I heard him getting out of bed and going into his bathroom and starting to brush his teeth and I just thought, I really need to buy a, a clock. clock. <laughs> And I had to say to him, it's three o'clock in the morning. And then, of course, he was very upset and started crying because he, he had this thing of, the sleep fairy's not going to come because I got out of my bed. So I had to leave him something that morning. But yes, my next purchase will be an alarm clock. So that has been my tried and tested method for an older child. I don't think it would necessarily work on a younger one. Yeah. But maybe for a five-year-old, a reward-based system might work. It's worth a try. I think I'm going to try the sleep fairy yeah. uh, system here and yeah. see how it works. <laughs> Buy some stickers. Yeah. Stock up. Have a little treasure yeah, chest. Absolutely. <laughs> By the side of your bed. So. <laughs> and sometimes if I don't manage to get up in time to put something outside his door, then I've had to wait until he goes downstairs and say, well, have you then checked under your bed or wherever it may be? And he comes <laughs> back up, by which time I've slotted something <laughs> under the bed for him to find. Yeah, my kids, uh, they generally beat us out of their room. So yeah. maybe the sleep fairy thing will be not just, you know, they can't get out of their bed, but not leave their room yeah. and just call for us. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I may invest in one of those alarm clocks where there's a light that comes on yeah. when they're allowed to get up. Oh, I've never heard of that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So they're usually, they've usually got a character on them. So I know there's one for Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah. And there's definitely one with Lightning McQueen and then there's some other ones with bunny rabbits and things. But the Lightning McQueen one I thought might be a draw. And you can set it to whatever time yeah. you want them to wake up. And at night time, Lightning McQueen, you know, the clock is in darkness and Lightning McQueen has his eyes shut and then as soon as it gets to the time that you want it to be, rather than a loud alarm song, a sound going off, the light comes on and his eyes open so then okay. they know they can actually get out of bed. That's fantastic. Leave, so. I think I'm going to be making an Amazon purchase tonight. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Buy it. Oh, get it oh. off it. <laughs> Even better. Yes. Great, so now you know we some tools tips, to yeah. use and uh, some ideas. So let us know how it works for you and I'll let you know how it worked for me.